MGND Knee Magnet Special, 0512, 1934. It is not surprising that with the maker's knowledge of racing, it should be capable of giving as high a speed as 80 miles per hour. What comes as a revelation is the ease with which on Brooklyn's that speed is reached and held. The rev needle hovering between the 5000 and 5500 marks, the whole mechanism feeling as one, and with no sense of adventure attached to such speeds. Dash the auto car on the end type magnet. Small capacity six cylinder cars were much in vogue in the early 1930s, and MG had duly climbed aboard the bandwagon in 1931 with the launch of the Magna F. Maximum output of the Magnus 1,271 cc Wolseley Hornet Bast overhead camshaft engine was later raised from a modest 37 bhp to a much healthier 47 horsepower. An extensively revised and improved version of this KD engine, tuned to produce 56 bhp, was carried over to the NA Magnet of 1934. The chassis too had come in for revision, being lighter than hitherto, while the body was now supported by rubber-mounted outriggers, an arrangement that gave a more comfortable ride. A by 253 is one of only 24 ND magnets built out of a total of 738 in types, excluding the racing knee. Records held by the MG Car Club's MMM register show that a by 253 was first owned by W.E.C. Watkinson, who was a recognized MG Works driver and had the factory frit and knee specification racing engine. Watkinson is believed to have raced this car at Brooklands and elsewhere pre-war. In the 1960s the Magnet was owned by longtime MG enthusiast Alan Scott. Alan had acquired the car from the Red Dragon Trials team, who had bought it from Watkinson. In an article published in Safety Fast, the MMM newsletter, in June 2002, he recalled, it was a very handsome car in beautiful condition. It went like a scalded cat and handled like a dream. It only had one defect, the rear cross tube had worn through and a crude bar repair was welded to support the spring tails. In fact, the car was an ND. It had an amazingly high axle ratio. The end chassis was a revelation. The pro would have to go. Allen kept the magnet for a year, selling it when the crown wheel broke and the MOBA came due. His article concludes, Of all the cars I have owned, this is the one I regret parting with most. A letter on file reveals that a by 253 was purchased by Nev Churcher from Hampshire, who fixed the broken axle and sold the car two years later. There are also two photographs on file of the MG when owned by Nev Churcher. The magnet is pictured in safety fast wearing standard bodywork in the 1960s but currently has a knee body fitted. Only seven racing knee magnets were built by MG at Abingdon in 1934. Chassis numbers NA0516 to NA0522. They were designed to compete in the 1934 Rack Tourist Trophy held on the Ards Circuit in Northern Ireland, which MG succeeded in winning for the third year in a row. They also competed in the 1935 race with Dick Seaman driving the highest placed car. A typed document on file, believed written in 1999 by previous owner, Mike Daly states that the car was sold to him as having Brooklyn's racing history. The knee body is described as genuine and complete with an original radiator with a larger filler neck and racing cap, which were only fitted to genuine works cars such as the K3, knee, Q and R types. The car was sold with the following original knee parts, alloy-based racing seats with distinctive shaping to driver's seat, original leather bonnet strap and fittings, headlamps believed original and extremely rare, bulkhead including the unique alloy beading and original accelerator pedal and cross shaft, and a front apron with distinctive knee cutouts for headlamp stands identifying it as an original, there are photos on file of some of these parts as bought. The knee body has been the subject of some research and three of the other knee owners came to see it and check details during their own restorations, Carl Weissmann, Germany, Sid Beer, UK, and Pete Thelander. USA. There are numerous photographs on file testifying to research carried out into the surviving knee team cars. The late Graham Galliers purchased a by 253 as a kit of parts from Mike Daly for 20,000. There are numerous invoices on file for parts, etc. relating to its restoration, which commenced circa 1999. 
As of February 2003, some 30,000 had been spent with Tom Dark Engineering for building and parts for the racing magnet engine and close ratio Armstrong Siddeley pre selector racing gearbox. The supercharger was fitted at this time, supplied by Derek Chen. In August 2013 Graham drove a by 253 successfully at VSCC Prescott in what would turn out to be his last competitive outing. The MG was driven in the funeral procession through Shrewsbury and Graham's owner by Bonham's Motoring Department Specialist John Paulson prior to the cremation and memorial service. Accompanying documentation includes a copy of MG's original invoice to WEC Watkinson showing that the car was supplied with the knee specification engine, with the addition of a supercharger, plus others for work done by the factory for Watkinson in the 1930s. There are many letters on file written by Graham confirming the history as detailed above, and the car also comes with an old-style logbook and V5 registration document. Boasting a knee specification engine and a genuine knee body, a by 253, although a special, is about as close to team car specification as it is possible to get, but at a fraction of the cost of one of the originals.